girls, I'm Audrey, I'm French and I'm working in Toyota as an engineer specialized in plastic. My job is to produce all new big parts that will be seen by our customer, like bumpers or instrument panels. So I'm starting to do some simulation via computer to confirm that the part design of the part is suitable. Then I'm writing down all the specs of uh, all equipments that will be required to produce this part. It can be more, can be big machine as well, can be conveyors, assembly tables, so can be various type of equipment that we need to install in our um, factory plant. Then I'm uh, sourcing the supplier, I'm following up the design of the equipment. Uh, usually I'm traveling to the suppliers once the equipment is, is done to confirm that they manufactured basically what we requested. And then after a couple of trials, I'm organizing the shipping of all this equipment to our manufacturing plant. And finally, I'm installing all these equipments in our plant, on the shop, and um, I'm proceeding with the setting up of the parameters uh, and confirming that uh, all the uh, line uh, from the manufacturing to the assembly is uh, working properly before handing over to our man manufacturing team. Well, I got graduated from an engineering school special in plastic. So definitely the technical skills that I'm using every day for my job is going from there. Um, however, I would say that there is a lot of skills that I develop outside of my university life, um, which are very useful to me uh, today. And it's kind of making the difference as well. For example, um, I could go two months in the US uh, for an internship. And this helped me definitely to get more fluent in English, which is key because um, all my work is in English as all my colleagues have different nationalities um, as well. I could be, uh, for example, a treasurer in a, an association and this helped me to, um, to well uh, manage the budget, for example, and to be uh, more um, easy to use softwares. Um, as well, I could be a secretary uh, in another association and this uh, definitely helped me every day with all the meeting minutes that we need to write down and also notes and, um, and uh, writings that we need to do every day. And as well, um, we need to work with a lot of people, uh, uh, customers, suppliers, colleagues, um, and uh, working in team with diff various different person is, uh, is, uh, is a skill very, very useful nowadays. And this skill, I, I had the opportunity to develop it during um, my, uh, my assignment as a president of uh, three associations. So um, this, this is definitely kind of skills that uh, you, you develop outside of your university uh, with side project and personal project and definitely this uh, knowledge are a uh, key nowadays for any job. Definitely the, more, the most challenging part of my job is solving problems because basically my job is to solve problems and there are always problems popping out and um, as soon as you solve one there is two more coming in so it's um, and every problems are different so each time you need to to think different you need to have new ideas you need to think about a plan a a plan b a plan c so this definitely is the most challenging um, and uh, and as well the most interesting uh, part of the job because it's never the same um, and um, the most rewarding thing i would say perhaps the pleasure to see your part afterwards on the vehicle in the street. I have the chance to work on visible parts, big parts that are outside or inside of the vehicle, visible by everybody. I, I'm proud uh, when I see a car in the street and I look to the part, ah, this one I work on, I work on it and this part is there because of my job, so of my work, so it's kind of uh, rewarding. Well, the main advice that I may give is never listen to others. Always listen to you and yourself only. Although others may say to you, you will not be able to achieve, you will never be able to do. Well, they are not you. 
so they cannot know only you can know and if you want to do then go for it do it and do whatever it needs to to achieve and uh, and to succeed and, and you will succeed for example i was bottom of the class in english when i was young everybody was saying that i will never be able to improve it was too late i will never be able to speak in english i will never be able to leave friends uh, and have a job and so on and look where i am uh, of course it was not easy i was not really helped uh, because i was so bad that i was deprioritized in any other occasion to improve uh, but well people didn't give me the chance i i created my chance i created my internship and i pushed myself outside and i i, I pushed myself in us to to solve the issue and where i look where i am now i think my english definitely improved improved enough to to be able to live in a foreign country for eight years without any problem uh, of course it's not perfect but well i'm, I'm continuing uh, to improve every day well another another example is that i wanted to to pass my motorcycle license because I'm fond of riding uh, any kind of engine, I, I really like that. And everybody was saying, oh, it will be too difficult, you will not achieve, you are too small, 1 meter 50, you will never touch the, the floor on the, on the, on the motorcycle, uh, 50 kilo, you are too light, you will not be able to control it. And well, I, I pass it and, and I, achieve, I, I succeed. I have my license and I did it quite well, even sometimes better than my friend who was a uh, tall, 80 kilo, very, very, uh, very muscular and so on. Basically, at some portion of the test, it did, I did better than him because he was not agile enough, he was going always in strength and actually in some portion, well, agility and, uh, and um, fineness is a better way to go. So maybe the last advice that I may give is always uh, remember that everybody has strength and weakness. Know your strengths, know your weakness and use them to your advantage. You may solve the problem a different way than your main colleague for example, but you will anyway, even if it's a different way, you will achieve to proceed, even if it's a different way. So. Uh, don't hesitate, listen to yourself, be proud of yourself and, um, and yes, you can do it anything that you, that you want.